we're going to learn how to apply the words group and period and learn the location of metals and nonmetals and main group elements, halogens, alkali metals, alkali earth metals, transition metals, inner transition metals, halogens, and noble gases. The rows in the periodic table are called periods, and there are seven periods. The columns are called groups. The word family is hardly ever used, so do not be concerned about using the word family. I want you to know, memorize the group assignments for 1A through 8A. Do not be concerned about the B assignments. I'm going to pull up the periodic table to make this more illustrative. Next, we'll learn the different regions in the periodic table. Let me go back to this slide and begin by showing you where the metals and the nonmetals are located. Those are the two big regions in the periodic table. The separation between the metals and the nonmetals is the line that runs between these two colors, blue and magenta. Next, I'll point out where the rest of these regions are. Main group elements, halogens, alkali earth, etc. To do that, I'm going to take advantage of the key that is included with this periodic table. Now the periodic table I'm going to give you on your exams will not include this key. It's very simple, but it will include that step to separate the metals from the nonmetals. So the first group, group 1A, called the alkali metals. And hydrogen, although it is in group 1A, it is not a metal, so it's generally not bundled in as an alkali metal. Group 2A are called the alkali earth metals. The elements in the middle region here are called the transition metals. These elements, these elements are called the inner transition metals and they fit in right here after lanthium and actinium. Next I want to point out the halogens. All the elements in group 7A are called the halogens. The elements in group 8A are called the noble gases. The main group elements are those elements in groups 1A through 8A.